I thought it was a joke. I didn't believe it. I thought it was just, you know, oh, it's a coincidence. <laughs> There's just something's going on over there that's just making these things happen. This they don't actually want to nerf havoc every single patch. That's that can't be the case. They did it again. Havoc was nerfed severely. This isn't even just like a fucking oh havoc was nerfed. Haha, -ha, his cameos does ten less damage. Havoc was incredibly nerfed. This character is now even worse than he was. Once again, Netherrealm Studios has decided to indirectly nerf the shit out of Havoc and not even mention him. Ever since yesterday, Mortal Kombat 1 players have noticed something. Oh, Movado seeming to do a lot less damage with the characters that I usually use Movado with, i.e. General Shao, Havoc, that's really it. And finally, this morning, Netherrealm Studios comes out and gives us the patch notes. They titled it, General Shao Movado Fixes. Fixes. Can we stop calling nerfs, fixes, and changes, and bug fixes? Stop blanket terming this shit. If you're gonna make your game less fun, tell us, call them nerfs. But without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at these nerfs! Alright, character specific adjustments. General Shao, fix the rare issue that could cause blah 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 fucking blah. How about you fix the unrare issue of Havoc's back forward three, missing the opponent and going the complete wrong air direction? How about we fix that issue? Cause if you're gonna change Havoc every patch, at least fix his bugs! But moving on. Moving on, General Shao has a bug fix. He's still worse too because they destroyed Movado. Movado, cameo fighters. The only other change is just Movado, right? Because everyone in the Mortal Kombat Pro community has been complaining about Movado. There is certainly no other cameo that every single other pro player has been complaining about. Certainly not. Best feet forward, Nindrop, sliding home, now do 50 damage. Damage nerf across the board, gotcha, okay. Just Dessert now does 60 damage. Another damage nerf, got it. Slightly increased combo damage scaling after an in drop and best feet forward. Why did you even do the, the fucking, the doubt, reduce the damage then? You're reducing the damage and increasing the scaling? Oh my god. Increased combo damage scaling after trap drop. I'm gonna tell you right now, this character no longer needs 100 health reduction. If you're gonna make him scale 10 times harder on all of his moves, why even remove his health? Adjusted trap drop, blah, blah, blah. Now this stuff is actually bug faces, sure. But that's four different nerfs to Movado. The only cameo that made Havoc worthwhile worth playing. Now, he's much worse. I, and the worst part is, I still think that Movado is actually Havoc's best cameo. I still think that regardless of these nerfs, regardless of everything that's happened, Havoc is still the best cameo with, his best cameo is Movado. So even with these ridiculous ass nerfs, which by the way, we're gonna go and test how his combos do now. Even after these nerfs, Havoc is still the, the best character from Movado. How tragic is that? Okay, for reference, General Shao's command grab combo with Movado used to do about 51%, okay? 51% was very good because you have to use all your cameo resources to do it, and it was a lot of damage. It was very fun to do. Now, let's take a look at what with these Movado nerfs. How much is General Shao's command grab combo doing? Forty four percent. They nerfed this guy's damage by seven percent. Oh my god. If you think that that's not a big that big ass nerf, it is, okay? That's seven percent of the health bar that you're not getting that you used to get for basically just free off this trap combo. And this isn't even my character, this is General Shao. This is the grappler type character. I was enjoying playing General Shao a lot more now that Movado turns him into a pseudo grappler, but 
They nerfed his damage. I mean, it's not just the, the, the trap drop either. This does less damage. It does like less damage overall and scales worse. This does less damage, less damage overall and scales worse. I mean, holy moly. They also nerfed, uh, I'm pretty sure they nerfed this move. Sliding home. Now this only does 5%. It used to do 6%. So usually I would be able to end the round off if somebody's only got 6% health. I'd be able to use one of these. All of a sudden, now their 6% is gone, and they lose the round. Now it's 5%. That's not that big of a nerf, but it's an extra percent they get to survive off of on the end of the round. That kind of stuff is very monumental and very annoying in the heat of battle. If you're in the middle of a tournament, in the middle of a combat league, that shit matters. And all of this stuff is really monumental for characters like Havoc and General Rochelle. Havoc's best options with Movada were from his back 2-2. Two -two. You could go either uh, throw combo... Or you could get the low combo. Now, the issue with this option now is both of these options scale harder. Both of them. Not just the trap. Not just the, 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 the drop. Both of these options now have worth scaling. So, all of Havoc's combos do less damage overall. Let's just take a look. And that was doing around 38% beforehand. It was doing a lot more than that, I swear to you. And uh, just seeing this kind of damage nerf on a character like Havoc, who doesn't have the best damage in, to begin with, makes me want to cry. I am so disappointed with how this whole hotfix even happened. That also, I mean, Havoc finally had a throw combo. Now, it's even worse. It barely does any damage. Why even use it? You can extra 3%. Oh, well, just bring, just bring Janet at that point. What's the point, dude? Like, I'm, I'm not even kidding when I say that. I feel like General or Havoc is... His best cameo is still Movado, and it's still not worth it. It's not worth losing 100 health to play Movado anymore, and yet you have to because Havoc is so bad. If you guys haven't noticed, they have nerfed every single cameo that Havoc is good with and given him no compensatory buffs. Cyrax, best cameo for Havoc. Fucking nerf to the ground. Striker, best cameo for Havoc, nerf to the ground. Now, Movado, best cameo for Havoc, nerf to the ground. I am starting to believe that Havoc is the blueprint for their buffs. If you did not play Mortal Kombat 1 and took a look at these patch notes, I would be able to convince you that Havoc is the best character in the fucking game because they only nerf his cameos. Literally every single part of his kit is worse now. Even the sliding kick, which was used to get people far away from you so you could get a unblockable setup, does less damage. So this little sliding, sliding kick, boom. Get a little setup going here. Instead of 6%, that's 5%. And all of a sudden, I mean, it, like, like that's, that's, not, that's definitely not the worst nerf of the bunch, but it still matters. It's still going to make this character seemingly and very obviously worse in tournaments and in combat league. If he wasn't bad enough. If you, if you think I sound crazy, Netherrealm Studios nerfed his fucking push block. Everyone was laughing at this move. They were laughing at how bad his push block was, and they nerfed it. They made it do less damage. What the fuck? I'm just gonna take this portion of the video just to beg and plead and hope to God that there is a Netherrealm Studios employee out there watching this video somewhere. Please, God, listen for a second from a Mortal Kombat player who plays this game every single day and has to deal with this shit every single day, decided to pick the worst character in the game because he found him the most fun. Please listen. Your community did not have a problem with Movado. Some of them may, may have found him a little bit annoying, but the overall opinion of the current state of the game is that Movado was fine. The real issue in tournaments and in competitions was Chameleon. We have been complaining about Chameleon for a very long time. Chameleon could really do with some less push block on the Molina ball roll, could really use some more cooldown, could really use some any, any kind of changes at all because we've been complaining about her since release. Nerfing Movado like this, who made all of your lower tier characters better, and made most of the higher tier characters just eh, is a slap in the face. It is a complete and total slap in the face to every single person who has made balanced videos, who's made tweets saying, hey, please, we have issues with these characters. It's like, who are you listening to? I've heard a lot of, a lot of talk to, towards the beginning of this game saying, okay, we're going to listen to our players, we're going to listen to pros, we're going to listen to the community. Who are you listening to? Who, who are these people? Who is telling you that Movado is a big problem and Chameleon is not? Who is telling you these things? 
because I'm genuinely curious. So here's what I'd like you to do, NetherRealm Studios. Either give Movado 100 health back, or revert every single fucking change you just made. Every single one, except for the bug fixes. Because this is ridiculous. We do not want nerfs. We want buffs. We want every character to feel as good or better than Chameleon. We want every character to be that way because that's what makes the game more fun. We want more fun. More nerfs equal less fun. More buffs equal more fun. How come every single patch has been a fucking nerf? Where are the buffs at? The only buffs you do are new moves and you give them the characters like Reptile who has 39% meterless combos and goes fucking invisible every 5 seconds. So who are you listening to? Cause it can't be us! Please! With that being said, I'm gonna get out of here. We're probably playing Street Fighter tonight. I'm not even kidding. Akuma just came out in Street Fighter. Akuma and Street Fighter 6. I've been waiting for Akuma for a while. Akuma's one of my favorite Street Fighter characters. So, you know what? I'm excited to take a break from this game for a while. This game deserves a break. I don't, I don't understand what they were thinking. They just hot-fixed my two characters that I've been maining and made them worse. So... And this, this feels like a direct attack damn near, bro. I started playing General Shao, started playing Havoc, and now they're just absolutely worse. So, I'm taking a break. I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be streaming Street Fighter tonight on my Twitch channel. I also make fighting game videos, so go ahead and subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.